Hello again. Um, I do quite a bit with uh, new amateurs. Uh, I speak to quite a few new amateurs um, on Facebook. And one of the questions that comes up um, quite frequently is what is the proper way to call CQ? Now, there's not necessarily a right way and a wrong way. Um, it's not really set in concrete. However, um, there are probably better ways um, to call CQ. It's all about getting the response. So when we call CQ on HF, it's completely different to how we call CQ on FM, for instance. Um, so this short video is aimed to really show you how I do it. Um, and maybe you can take away a few ideas um, and maybe it will help you call CQ a little better. As you'll see, I'm using a flex, so the whole benefit of using a flex is that you can actually see the band um, rather than relying on hearing. So I know that there's somebody here, for instance. It's called someone calling, someone calling CQ. Okay, so there is someone there. So the first thing we need to do in order to call CQ on HF is understand that um, sideband uh, basically has no carrier uh, as opposed to AM or FM. So if I key up the microphone on, on this frequency, um, unless I talk, then there'll be no power being transmitted. If there's no power being transmitted, then number one, nobody will hear me, and number two, nobody will see me if they're using a scope like I am. So it's important that we, that we know that we need to be talking. Now, not everybody has got an SDR. Some people will be using a standard uh, radio transceiver where they will be turning the knob and trying to find a signal. So it's important that our CQ call is number one, clear and um, professional sounding. Um, it also needs to occupy a certain amount of time so that anybody tuning around when they tune past it and then they come back you're actually still there transmitting so um, I like to aim for around about 30 seconds um, of my CQ call and then I like to leave a pause of around about 10 seconds um, that will give someone uh, the chance to maybe write down my call sign and reply to my call. So, um, so okay, let, let's just get into this. Um, I think I did spot somebody come up on that, that frequency there. So let's just choose any frequency. It doesn't need to be, it's not channelized. So sideband is not channelized. We can use any random frequency that we want. I've just clicked here on 7.162, um, 200. Okay, so it doesn't have to be 7.162.000, it doesn't have to be. Okay, so what I like to do is sit on a frequency or find a frequency that no one's on and then sit on it for around about one minute. And just listen, because it could be that there is two stations um, having a, a, a conversation on this frequency and maybe we can't hear one, one uh, station. And that could be the station that's transmitting now. Um, so, okay, th there's nothing there. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna basically ask, is this frequency clear? And we're going to give the, um, any other stations the opportunity to come back and say yes. In which case, if it's busy, move somewhere else and try again. So, um, we're going to establish that the frequency is available and then we will call CQ. So let's just do this now. Um, for the purposes of this, I'm not going to use my headset. I'm going to use uh, the boom. Okay. And, um, and I'm going to use the PTT that's actually on the um, my desk here just so that you can actually see what I'm doing. So I'll just make sure that the yeah the other camera's pointing at the screen. I'm doing it this way rather than um, using a screen capture card because I think it will get more of the essence of what I'm doing. 
So, uh, so yeah, let's go ahead. Let's just make sure that the ATU is on and my SWR is good. Okay. Right. Here we go. Is this frequency clear, please? Mic zero, X-ray, mic X-ray. Okay, so I like to wait 10 seconds. That feels about right. Is this frequency clear, please? Mic zero, X-ray, mic X-ray. And again, wait another 10 seconds. Okay, nothing heard. Last call. Is this frequency clear, please? Mic zero, X-ray, mic X-ray. Okay, so sounding good so far. Let's just turn the volume up a little bit. Okay, now we need to call CQ. This is how I do it. Hello CQ, hello CQ. Mike Zero, X-Ray, Mike X-Ray, calling CQ40, CQ40, CQ40 meters. M0, X, MX, calling CQ, CQ, CQ. Mike Zero, X-Ray, Mike X-Ray, calling CQ40, Italy, Oscar, 92 square. M0XMX calling CQ40 and bye for any calls. Okay. And that's how I do it. You can vary it. Um, you can see that I took up probably 30 seconds ish. I wasn't timing it, so I don't know. And I would normally leave it for around about somewhere between 10 and 30 seconds and then repeat it. And you can you can vary it a little bit. But um, you don't need to be a robot, um, and, and as much as I can guarantee anything, if you do that for long enough, then you will get someone come back to you. And then you go through an exchange of, of information, um, typically where you are, the signal strength, uh, maybe the weather. Um, sometimes it literally is just an exchange of signal report, and, uh, and that's it, move on to the next one. Um, so there you go, I wanted this to be a very very short video, um, hopefully you've enjoyed it, um, please feel free to like and subscribe and um, I look forward to meeting you again sometime, farewell for now.